What's going on guys? You are absolutely going to love this video. Today we're going to be talking about the five things you must know to feel like and to be the sexiest person in the room, at the party, at the club. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't have the sexiest body in the world. You might not be the sexiest individual on the face of the planet, but you can feel sexy. Sexy begins in your head. I want you to think about it this way. You will either be thinking about how you look. This is called self-consciousness. This is very seldom ever, ever comes across as sexy, or you're going to feel how you think. Most people are thinking about how they look instead of looking how they think. When we begin to look how we think, it means we're, we're starting with a perspective of ourself that is sexy. You know, almost every single person before they go out in the evening, whether that's to dinner, to a party, to a club, to spend some time with friends, they prepare themselves, they get ready. I've spent a lot of time watching women get ready for events and uh, this is a wild time. They can spend hours and hours just trying on clothes and putting on makeup and then they can still occasionally get out to that party or that thing and not feel sexy, not really be feeling themselves. And I think if we take at least a little bit of time to prepare our minds, then this will help. You need to start thinking sexy. First of all, you start to do this by saying, I am fucking sexy. And stop thinking to yourself, I want to be sexy, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to start recognizing that sexy is more in our body language than in our actual body. And we've all seen that person that aesthetically, they're very pleasing, 10 out of a 10, drop dead gorgeous, and yet in a room with somebody that might be uh, a little overweight, maybe uh, not even wearing the sexiest clothes, they're not the sexiest person in the room. How in the world do you have a drop dead gorgeous body and not the sexiest person in the room? The answer is because they're either into themselves or they're vibrating at a lower frequency. So let's talk about how we can raise that frequency or feel sexier and therefore be sexier. The first thing is start to learn how to exhibit expansive gestures. Now you've all seen the person that walks into the bar, the room, the party, hands in the pocket, kind of closed off, shoulders slumping, this sort of gesture, kind of tension on their face, that is not sexy. That's having closed gestures. When somebody says, hey, um, you know, where, where's, the, where's the restrooms at? And you're like, over there. That's closed gesture. A confident, a more confident gesture, and this will come across to everyone in the room, is when you open yourself up. Somebody says, hey, where's the bathroom? You say, bathroom's over there, and you point. You open yourself up. You're making yourself more visible. You're taking up more space in the room and every single person will notice. Open your body language. Take your hands out of your pocket and open yourself up. You're literally, when you're closed off like this, when your hand's over your face, when you're laughing and you put your hand over your face, you're closing yourself off to the room. What you're in essence saying is, I'm closed off to you. Open yourself up. Be confident in that smile and that laugh. It is contagious. Enjoy it. Open yourself up to everyone that's there. You're basically saying, I'm inviting you to come hang out with me, party with me, enjoy me. That's sexy. The second thing that we need to begin to recognize is we need to develop a magnetic body language. Now, let me kind of give you some contrast. Magnetic body language versus the seeker. Now, 
I don't know if you like people watching as much as I do. I like people watching. Sometimes my wife and I, Beth, will go out and we'll just people watch on the beach or at a bar or whatever for hours watching people dance. Now sometimes, listen, that's why you're going out. You're just going out to watch. That's okay. But that, you're not trying to be the sexiest person in the room. You're just watching other people try to be the sexiest person. Hey, listen, that's absolutely cool. And sometimes that's fun for you. But if you want to feel and be sexy, you can't be that guy. The one that, the guy or the gal that walks into a, a bar, club, a party, and is scanning and then sits down at the bar and is just looking everywhere else, this body language is called the seeker. In other words, I'm looking for fun. I'm looking for somebody to enjoy. I'm looking for somebody to talk to. And it's a, it's a body language that almost repels people. What it's saying to everyone else in the room, whether they recognize it or not, is this. The party or the fun is not over there with that person. The party and the fun is everywhere where that person is looking. Okay? So, magnetic body language is to, to be in your moment, start a conversation. When you're talking to the bartender, be about the bartender. When you, whoever you're talking to, be about them. They are the most interesting person in the world. This attracts people. They want to feel good. If you want to be sexy, make other people feel sexy. Make them feel like they are the center of the universe. Now, this doesn't have to just center around if you go with somebody or if you're with somebody, the person that you're with. You can expand out and start conversations and enjoy other people and other, other parts of the room, other parts of the club, the, the building, the office, whatever. But I need you to recognize right now, a magnetic body language is attracting people and saying, this is where the fun's at. So I'm opening myself up. I can, I can scan the room like I own the place, but it's just a quick scan. And then back to the person that I'm with, back to the person that I'm engaged with. And, uh, and it's easy to find somebody to engage yourself with. And one of the ways that we do that is with a smile. When you're walking, you smile. When you walk into a place, don't, don't walk in like this. Don't try to be tough. Don't try to be the thug. That's not sexy. The thug is not the sexiest guy in the room, okay? The thug is where you go to get drugs, or the thug is where you go if you want to start a fight. That's not the sexiest guy or gal in the room. Be sexy. I don't mean smile like this. I mean just a light smile on your face, casual smile, show some teeth. This is nice, right here. I can just do this. I'm not over smiling, I'm not under smiling, I'm just smiling. I'm casual, I'm relaxed, I'm confident, and I'm smiling. The perfect smile draws people in. That's part of that magnetic body language. It just feels good to everyone you're around. So I want you to think this, smile equals sexy. And then once you've got that smile down, you walk in, you're smiling, eye contact. But they call this the Goldilocks role, and that means you don't want too much and you don't want too little. Sometimes I've gotten in the habit of making too much eye contact in my life. I just want to stare into your soul. And while on the one hand, that's really cool and it can be very spiritual, especially if you know the person that you're doing this with. But if you walk up to a complete stranger and you're walking by him or they're walking by you and that, that lady's walking by me and I'm just staring, I'm just staring, staring. And a smile happens and we greet, we exchange smiles, but I keep the stare. In essence, what I'm doing is called creepy. <laughs> so back that off. You want to make eye contact because eye contact says I'm confident. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The, gen the current generation that we're living in is not very good at eye contact. So it's really simple. Make eye contact two to three seconds. If you're greeted with a smile, you smile. If you're smiling and you make eye contact and you're greeted with a smile, that's typically code for, hey, come talk to me. Come chat with me. You don't want to sit there and be the guy that stare or girl that's staring at another person all night long, making eye contact, exchanging smiles, but you never go talk. Just go have a conversation with somebody. That's a confident, I'm confident, I know who I am, and I want to chat with you. That is sexy. All right, the fifth thing here. The fifth thing, and probably one of the most important things is, again, you, you are going to either be thinking about how you look or you're going to be looking like you think. So you want to think sexy, but not be into yourself. Self 
there's an enormous difference between self-confidence, that's sexy, and self-consciousness, that's, that's repelling. You ever been at the beach and you're around that guy or girl that's all checking themselves out, looking at themselves constantly, flexing, kind of looking at their muscles and looking at their abs? That's not a sexy, that's a I'm into myself. And I'm into myself is not sexy. Sexy is I'm into you. That's sexy. So don't be all about yourself, first of all. Second of all, a sexy person is always going to make others feel sexy. And how you do that is you be the one you're talking to, again, is the most important person. They feel valued. They feel attractive. They feel sexy. They feel important. Every person that you talk to should feel absolutely like the sexiest person in the world. Make them feel sexy. One of the ways that you're going to do that is by complimenting them. You don't have to go extreme or hardcore. That can also lead to kind of being creepy. But you want to just compliment, assure them that they're beautiful, assure them that they're, that they're, that they're fun, be complimentary. And, and here's the last thing, guys, here's the very last thing, and probably the most important thing. And this is really key for us. And that is to drop the self that feels unsexy. And I have lots of videos on letting go of ego. But this is the person you believe you are is the greatest hindrance to your feeling and being the sexiest person in the room. The problem is you're walking into a room and you genuinely don't believe you're sexy. Your belief at a very subconscious level is changing how you feel. Video here on how to change your subconscious beliefs. So I'm not going to go into that right now, but I need you to recognize it's that person that you think that you believe that you are that has to shift and change. You can change these body language issues and you will be far sexier and you will be the sexiest person in the room probably. Doesn't matter how what your body type is, you can be the sexiest person in the room by changing these, by doing these five practices.